if you want to make that classic tape stop effect or tape slowdown effect here in Pro Tools. Just like that, it's actually really, really easy. So first I'll control Z out of what we did there. And the first thing you want to do is probably make a selection. Don't worry about it. We can always change it later. Now, right now we're doing this over a uh, simulated full mix. So just make our selection. We can always adjust it later. Come up here to audio suite, pitch shift, and we want verify. Now this is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and preview it. All right, we can slow down, speed up, but we can choose fit to or extend. That's a little bit slower. So individual files is fine. Go ahead and select use in playlist. So we have it here instead of our clips list and playlist is what we want here. So that's pretty much it. Just go through your settings. Maybe we want it to quicker there. That's fine. And all you do is render right there. It is then listen back. All right, pretty cool. Now, of course, we can do this on individual instruments too. you know, whether it's guitar or piano, or whatever, we can also do this over multiple clips at the same time. So maybe we want these clips here all three of them. It could be, of course, more than that. So we want this effect across all of these clips. We'll just select all of them, make our selection, back up to audio suite, pitch shift. We'll go to verify here. And these settings are fine. Clip by clip is fine. Slow down. We'll go ahead and do extend at this time. And here's some of it there. And just click render. And you can see what happened there, and then we'll listen back. <laughs> now that's pretty cool. So real easy to do here in Pro Tools, just make your selection, audio suite, pitch shift, choose verify, and select whatever settings sound best to you.